Ms. Watkins, Shell's 2020 annual report called for between 19 and $22 billion in near-term spending. I'm representing that with this container of M&Ms. Each M&M represents about $50 million in spending. Ms. Watkins, how much has Shell said it will spend in the near term on oil, gas, and chemical operations? I, I think you just said we're going to be spending between 18 and $20 billion uh, this year. That's near term on total spending. How much on oil, gas, and chemical operations? We're going to be spending... Well, according to your annual report, you said you're going to spend 16 to 17 billion for oil, gas, and chemical, with another three billion dollars for marketing. How much is Shell spending to spend on renewable energy? This year, we'll be spending between two and three billion dollars. Two and three billion on renewables and energy solutions. In your testimony, you said, "quote." Meeting the demand for reliable energy while simultaneously addressing climate change is a huge undertaking and one of the defining challenges of our time. Shell has made these promises before. Shell pledged to spend $6 billion between 2017 and 2020 on renewable energy. How much of that did Shell actually spend? The answer is about half. Ms. Watkins, does this look like a huge undertaking to you? Congresswoman, what I can tell you is that um, there needs to be both a demand and a supply of clean energy, which is why we're working very closely with our customers so that that demand increases over time. And we are Ms. ready Watkins, to supply. To me, this does not look like an adequate response to one of the defining challenges of our time. This is greenwashing. Shell is trying to fool people into thinking that it's addressing the climate crisis when what it's actually doing is to continue to put money into fossil fuels.